slightly different implementation than what you normally have seen. So first, let's go ahead and cover the standard approach, and then I'll walk you through my particular system. A typical Herm system pumps the wort from the mash tun through a coil in the hot liquor tank to warm up the wort and back to the mash tun. Your coil might look something like this, or unfortunately, more likely for home brewers, something like this. The system can also be manually controlled, or as shown by the unit on the right here, an elaborate automated control can be used. Let's get back to my system. And whether you're using a herb system or a rim system, the goal is the same. We want to keep the temperature of our work constant, and we actually want to be able to control it as well. A side benefit is we'll also have a clarification of the wort as it's recycled over and over again through the grain bed. Let me show you my setup real quick and then I'll show you how I have adapted it to become a really efficient herb system using a slightly different approach than most people. I have a hot liquor tank, mash tun, and the boil kettle. Down below, a true filter which I'm going to use as a grain screen as well during the Herm's recirculation. Down here I have a heat exchanger. We often call it a cold plate, but in this case I'm going to show you how I've used it to actually warm and control the temperature of the wort. So instead of having a coil located up in the hot liquor tank, as you often see, I've taken the stuff I've already got and adapted it in a way where I can use the heat exchanger to warm the wort as opposed to cooling it at the final stage. So we'll show you how that works. Here are the components that I'm going to use to, to actually implement the Herm system. You can see I have a power supply. I have a little pump, an additional pump. That's a 12 volt DC pump. I have a stand that I've welded together to support the hot liquor tank during the mash process. And then a induction cooktop to help regulate the temperature of the water that I actually run through the heat exchanger. Then on the right, a couple of pipes and tubes just to get everything working and set up just right. So let's take a look at what it takes to adapt the system to support the Herm's mash process. So I'm going to show you just how easy it is to modify the existing setup to support the Herm's process during the mash. Start off with the stand, add it to that. Next comes the induction cooktop. Place it on top. Next, take the hot liquor tank, place it on the induction cooktop, remove the spar jar, add in our recirculation of the hot water. bring up the next hose and the additional pump that's required. Add it to the hot liquor tank. And last of all, of course we have to power everything, we'll hook up the 12 volt power supply. So there we have it. We're all set up in the Herms mode now. And I'll show you how it actually works in operation in just a second. We start with the heat source, which is my hot liquor tank. I have that sitting on top of this induction uh, cooktop here, which allows real accurate and immediate temperature control. We come out through the ball valve come down through this pump here. These are little DC pumps, ideal for this kind of thing. Goes through the heat exchanger in the back there, out through the return tube, 
up and back into the hot liquor tank. So that's my heat source. There's no coil inside the hot liquor tank like you normally see. It's using the components I already had and in my opinion a little easier setup. Now on the other side we have our mash tun. From the mash tun, same type of thing. Out through the ball valve, down first off through this big cylindrical filter. That's actually a true filter but I'm using it in this case just as an extra screen to make sure no grain particulate comes out and blocks up the chill plate, which in this case, the heat exchanger is actually raising the temperature, comes out through the bottom of the heat exchanger and back up into the mash tun. You can see it in action there. The whole time I'm monitoring the temperature through my thermometer here is simply connected to the top of the return from the heat exchanger back into the mash tun. So you can see here I'm entering my final steps, starting to warm up to the mash out. Once this is done, I'll simply move the return tube from the mash tun over to the boil kettle make the transfer and begin my boil. Thanks for watching. Today I'm going to cover my herb system. It's a slightly different implementation than what you normally have seen. So first let's go ahead and cover the standard approach and then I'll walk you through my particular system. A typical Herm system pumps the wort from the mash tun through a coil in the hot liquor tank to warm up the wort and back to the mash tun. Your coil might look something like this, or unfortunately more likely for home brewers, something like this. The system can also be manually controlled, or as shown by the unit 